Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome your first fighter into the ring from Yashi, Romania, Tudor Potoroka! Uh, remember back in the day when you taught me to live and I taught you to pray? All right, folks, fight number two out of a schedule five fights be between the Netherlands and Romania about to go down right now. Representing Romania, undefeated is this 23-year-old. Of course, he's only had one fight, but it was a victory, and it was a knockout. And that's very important because a lot of these fighters from the Netherlands they just come here to knock somebody out. And this guy from the Scorpions Club, they are known for their fighters that just go full bore nonstop, pedal to the metal the whole time. So this should be an interesting one. And here comes King Shaka from ARJ Training in the Netherlands, trained by Mike Polanin, the trainer of champions. Oh, and look at this, Ismail Lant walking him out to the ring here. Lafogo Sauror, 28 years old, 183 centimeters tall from the Hog in the Netherlands representing South Sudan as well. 30 and six as a professional with 12 wins coming by way of KO. I'm telling you, don't underestimate uh, Saor. He can definitely drop you to the canvas, that's for sure. And he's got some pretty slick dance moves as well. If this kickboxing thing doesn't work out, he may want to try dancing with the stars. presents three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. And in the blue corner with a record of one win and no defeats. Weighing in at 67 kilograms, he was an amateur national champion from Yashi, Romania, to Potoroka! And his opponent fight at the red corner. He has a record of 30 wins with only six defeats. 12 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Weighing in at 67 kilograms, he is fighting out of The Hague in the Netherlands by way of South Sudan. He is King Shaka Lafogo All right, fight two of the Netherlands versus Romania. Of course, if you saw the last fight, you know now it is one to zero in favor of Romania. So the Netherlands needs to get themselves back into the mix of things here and a win for King Shaka would do just that. Fighter to the center, no elbows. Mr. Payne, Ismail Lant in the corner of Sauror. Judge, 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 time, fight. And here we go. Touch of gloves, and you can see that Saror coming out in that southpaw style. Goes downstairs to the legs hard. Kick things off here in round number one. Look at the way he's hopping in there like that. Really attacking the legs early. Again, doubling up with the leg kick there. Well, this one I have a, a feeling is going to be another really hard-hitting 
even kind of a contest between these two, and that's what we've seen before in previous fights. Uh, Holland versus Romania. kick there it wasn't right on target uh, and a slip right afterwards there in a perhaps little slick red corner and again off balance and he paid for it he got clocked Looked like in the side of the head that time by King Shaka. And he can't afford to make too many more mistakes like that. Sometimes when you try to force one particular maneuver, uh, it doesn't work out in your favor because you, your opponent can really see it coming and is able to react. And that's what we saw right there. Another attempted spinning back kick there kind of backfired. And I can almost see like he's trying to set him up for it again. And he's trying to check those low kicks now. So there, those are, yeah, and there's that back kick again. It's just the more times you try it, the more obvious it becomes. And that's kind of uh, annoying if you're the one throwing it because if it's not landing and that's really something you've been uh, practicing in training, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, those low kicks are adding up. And the more that King Shaka attempts those, and the more he lands, the worse things are going to get for Tudor Potaraza, end of round one. Well, taking a look at some of these highlights, it's clear to me that the low kicks uh, were certainly a factor. And the fact that um, whatever kind of a plan that Tudor Potoraca had for this fight, not really playing out the way he would like them to. I've got King Shaka with one round here so far in this contest. All right, round two underway here. This is Golden Fighter Championship 7. The Netherlands versus Romania. Nice shot there as he snuck that one right under the guard almost. I don't know what he was looking for there. Some kind of hurricane kick or looking to go around the world, but wasn't the time or the place for it. In my mind here, the, the, the reason why this fight is going in favor of King Shaka right now is simply because I think that uh, Potoraza is simply, he's a little bit too showy in there, a little bit too flashy, and it's not working. He needs to get back to basics here if he wants to get himself back in this fight. See, look at that, just low kicks, just plain old-fashioned, powerful low kicks from the Dutch kickboxer by way of South Sudan. Lafogo Sauror. Yep, he's feeling those low kicks. You can, you can certainly see it becoming pretty apparent. Oh yeah, oh, look at the way he's cringing and limping now backwards. Oh boy, he is in a world of hurt. There it is again, and he goes down for the low kicks. 
He may have a serious injury here. Oh, he's taking the mouth guard out. I got a feeling that this one's over. No, he's not going to make it. He put the mouth guard back in. If I were his cornerman, I would throw in the towel right now before things get any worse. I mean, you're talking about risking permanent injury here. If he gets another shot in the knee and he goes down and now it's got to be over. Look at King Shaka already celebrating over there. He's still coming out? No, nope, he's not. Yep, this one is over, and it is now one to one as far as the Netherlands versus Romania rivalry here. Good sportsmanship from King Shaka, but the low kicks did the damage. You can see it adding up shot after shot until Tudor Potoraza just could not take it anymore. Have another look, folks. Wham! You can see the knee buckle. And that happens twice before this thing was finally over. Wham! There's another one. And you can stick a fork in him. He's done. All right, our ring announcer, Ricky Wright, stepping into the ring, and he will make it official in just a moment. All right, so King Shaka gets the victory and also puts Team Holland on the map here. It is now one to one. We will have our next Holland versus Romania fight coming up next. It's at 77 kilos, so stay right where you are. I would like to thank uh, my team, my Popolan, Ismailon, Mochi Dada, Jungs van Sitio Tong. Daarnaast wil ik ook mijn sponsoren bedanken aan Tele Fight Gear, Immersive Gym. And not to forget, of course, Romania. Tell you best. I love you. I love you. One more time, and I love Fogo Saro.